Alright, hi. Welcome to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, the Target Individual Experience. So, as you guys know, one of the things that I love to do, right, because again, it's one of my purposes to try and figure out exactly, you know, what it is that they've done, what they've been doing, what they continue to do, and over and over and over. And particularly, um, being a, a black man, being a father, or also being a TI, and how they love to create narrative through manipulation, through manipulative tactics, tactics through using other people, uh, you know, to manipulate you and to do things to manipulate you in various ways. So one thing that I've noticed, okay, is that they're always trying to make you look like the bad guy, particularly if you're a TI. You're going to always be uh, trying to make you look like, a, like the bad guy. So for example, I'm, you know, and I've been noticing this trend for the past couple of years but I finally decided to speak on it because I think it's time I bring it to the forefront so when I call my kids sometimes right they won't pick up the phone like my son Ethan he has his own phone um, I'll call him you know sometimes he'll pick up other times like today he won't pick up right as yesterday also he won't pick up uh, so I'll call Pam I say hey I'm trying to call Ethan can you ask him to pick up his phone when I call, right? She, she'll tell me, okay. I said, can you go tell him uh, I'm going to call him to pick up his phone? So I go, uh, I, I wait about a minute or two. Then I call him. He won't pick up his phone. So I either text her or call her. And I said, hey, I, you know, I just caught Ethan. He's not picking up his phone. And she'd be like, well, I told him. So, so I said, okay, is he on his phone? No. Is he playing a game? No. So then why is he not picking up? See, one of the things they love to do is try to create this narrative. Oh, he's calling too much. Or he's doing that. This is a, listen, again. And they do this particularly with black men who are fathers and who are trying to do the right thing. Because you see, white America and white supremacists have an agenda that they want to create, right? And particularly with black men, right? And give the false image of black men not being part of their kid's life. When the truth is, black men out of every other group of men are the most involved in their children's life okay and if they're not most of the time it's an issue because the mother is playing games okay and that's most of the time not not, not half the time but most i would say about 70 to 75 percent of the time that's what it is okay so lately you know they've been having a lot of um not a lot but a few stories that came out about you know um men uh, hurting their their wives or their children's mother. Um, I was having a conversation with uh, a young lady on Facebook because she posted some really ridiculous stuff, right? So here's a woman, a young woman who's in a relationship, right, uh, with a man who accept her and her two kids, her two kids that she has up with somebody else. It's a black man now, right? Except her, he accepted her with two kids that she has with somebody else. They have a child together. Right, just had a baby now. Okay, she works at a bar. You know, she's always um, posting pictures. You know, with her booty sticking out and stuff like that. And you know, this brother is telling her, "Hey, that's disrespectful." But you see, today's women, modern women, in terms of modern black women, how they've been conditioned is to disrespect men and think that it's okay. Okay, it's to disrespect because I, let me tell you something. And I told her this. I said, when it comes to men, what women don't understand is respect. Men value respect more than the fact that you say that they love them. Because if you say that, that you love them, right, but you don't respect them, that means you're taking pictures showing your tits and ass so every other man can see. And you may think that's fine, okay? But it is not in the eyes of a man, particularly if you're his woman. So, but if her man was to give some other woman money okay she would be up in arms because you know what she would consider that to be disrespectful okay but i want you to understand the narrative that that is being created and particularly in the minds of black women is that they can be disrespectful to their men but we can't say nothing about it when we confront them about it it's like we're toxic with this and that they need to live out loud that's what she said. Well, you know, I have the need to live out loud. You have three in kids. A young daughter that was just born. 
and your mentality is you just want to live out loud, loud, you want to be single because you're disrespecting your man and because he confronts you about it, then that makes him toxic. So I said to her, I said, you know, both you and him need to go to therapy, right? And then, of course, you know, she had to put it all on men. It's men's fault. And, you know, men get women pregnant. I said, wait a minute. I said, didn't, didn't you all feminists fight for the right for contraception? A contraceptive? So what happened? So you fight for the right for contraceptive, but you don't use it. Okay? And then you put it all on the man. Right? And I said, she was like, oh, you put it all on the woman. And she, she sends me like a voice message. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? You know, I said, both you and your man need to go get therapy together. That way you guys can work out your own personal issues and work out the issues that you have with each other. And you know what she said to me? Uh, why would I pay somebody to say, but again, that is the mentality. This is why they remain stuck. This is why they always have negative outcomes. This is why they always talk about hot girl summer because they're conditioned to be in this. Every summer they have to be in their whole phase, right? And I said to her, I said, you know, I said, you have a family. You got a man that loves you. He just got you a, a, a car and everything, right? But because he doesn't want her to be showing her ass on tits on social media, that is the problem. I mean, like I said, you know, Kevin Samuels loved the brother and he passed on. But he was absolutely right. The way how these women are conditioned, it is destructive. You know, she says to me, the man power is in his penis. I said, no, it's not. The man power is not in his penis. Okay? Men's power is in our ability to think logically with our minds in our ability to problem solve, okay? In our ability to protect, right? In our ability to raise our sons to be the type of man that women say that they want. And I said to her, she was talking about, I said to her, so I said to her she was complaining about men. I said, let me, who in the black community where black people live, who raised the majority of kids, right? And, I, and you know, she, she didn't want to answer. And I know she knew. Then she finally says, re-raise them. And I said, exactly. Okay? So I said, if you want the kind of man you say that you want, or you, you think you deserve, okay? It is not just on the men. It is on you to heal yourself and get help in doing it. Don't think by reading books and doing self-healing is, is anything. You need a professional, somebody who's family oriented. Okay? Number two, all right? You can't always blame everything on men and not accept accountability and responsibility for what you done, what you say. You can't just say anything to a man and think because he's a man, it's okay to say it. And that's the mentality. I said, we have been so damaged, okay, by ignorance because we're not taught, okay? And because we've been traumatized by others in our lives. And this is the state that we're in. And as, let me tell you, as TIs, it goes for us too. We have been damaged by the people around us who have been deceived and tricked and lied to. And when we wake up to the truth, instead of saying, I'm sorry to us, what do they do? They keep up the lie. They want to make you look crazy. Why? Because they know what they've done is wrong. Okay? They know the treatment they give you is 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 not how they would treat is. Is, is, is subhuman, I should say. Okay? From the manipulation, from the drug, and all this other stuff. So when society is heading in the downward direction because you have opposing forces, okay? And a lot of it is based on religious beliefs. And I say religious beliefs with an S, okay? Not religious beliefs, religious beliefs. Okay? And every one of these religious organizations are trying to influence society in a way that is contradictory to what each other wants. And so we have issues and problems within the society, within the country, within the nation. This is why separation of church and state was so important, but they are fighting to get rid of that. And the moment they do, is when chaos, true chaos, is going to break loose. All right? So, 
I just want to say this because, you know, like I said, uh, I know it's getting away from what I initially talk about, particularly how they try to shape the narrative, okay? You know what I'm saying? It's like, when I have kids, when you have kids with somebody, you want to check on your kids, particularly if you know the situation that your kids are in with a particular individual, right? And so when that person is either lying to you and you have to call and call just to speak to your children, so they try to create a narrative and say, look, look how many times he called, look how many times she called, look how many times, you know what I'm saying? Because it is a game that they play and because those in the authoritative position, okay, who are part of their cult or their gang, okay, their psychiatrist and their psychologist saying such and such and blah, 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 to try to put you in a negative light try to say oh you're over jealous or you're calling too much or you must be a stalker and all this bullshit right who they are they try to make you into who they are by using manipulative tactics so you got to understand that okay so I don't I don't stalk nobody but if I'm calling to speak to my kids and I can't speak to them if I'm if I'm calling their the other parent and the other parent is t I'm telling them hey I'm gonna call him my son my daughter and you have them answer the phone and you call and they don't answer the phone okay then what see these sort of games the manipulative tactics is all to make you look a certain way okay because they need to have you look a certain way in order to justify what it is that they're saying what it is that they're doing to you understand that and if they have to manipulate you drug you mentally condition you a certain way they will do exactly that okay so I hope this is very informative and like I said you know certain things that I've experienced that I continue to experience I'm just waiting for the the right time to expose these things and talk about these things because I think you know um, there's always been this ability okay to try and figure things out within me I've always been like that and I always continue to be like that and this is what they hate and this is why they retaliate okay because as much as they step on my neck as much as they they harm me psychologically physically emotionally okay I'm still here I'm still exposing what they're doing regardless of the threats regardless of whatever label they want to label me as and that's what they don't like Alright, talk to you guys next video.